We do now want to take a look at the broader economy and what we can expect in 2010. Our next guest is hopeful about the new year. Joining us now is Nigel Galt, Chief U.S. Economist at IHS Global Insight. Nigel, great to have you today and Happy New Year. Same to you. Let's start with today's economic data. The initial jobless claims print was, was good. It came in better than expected. But do you have to look under the hood on this one? Because you've also got the extended benefits rising and the emergency unemployment compensation rising as well. So put that into perspective for me. Well, of course, we, we know that some people are, are dropping off the, the normal claims numbers and are moving into extended programs, so it's, it's very difficult to judge the, uh, the total number of people getting benefit. Um, as for the initial claims numbers, it was a big drop two weeks in a row. We know that sometimes there can be strange things happening uh, at holiday, holiday times, so um, have to take the numbers with a little bit of a pinch of salt, but the trend is very clear. Uh, the trend at the moment for initial claims is clearly downwards. It's been there for a long time. Uh, the trend is continuing, so I think clearly good news. What does it portend for the big December jobs report we're expecting next week? Well, of course, you know, these numbers are well beyond the survey week. Um, so, I mean, what they tell us is really uh, just that the, the trends in the labor market are clearly improving. It might be that next week's going to be the first one to cross the, the zero mark to move slightly into positive territory. Um, if it's not this month, it's certainly just around the corner. What do you think? I think we'll still be slightly negative uh, for December just because that, that November number was so good and there was such a big improvement in November from the previous month. I think it may be, maybe we get a little bit of a setback, lose about 30,000 jobs in December. Um, so I think the plus might be a little bit delayed. It's interesting because even if that happens, even if we continue to get a negative payrolls number, the market reaction, as long as it's closer to the survey, right, is still going to be, you know, positive. And you have to put it in perspective because the U.S. labor situation is still abysmal. Well, of course, in terms of the total number of people out of work and their, their level of amount of job loss that we've suffered, you know, unemployment still around 10%. Uh, we lost more than 7 million jobs over this, uh, over this cycle. Uh, the, the key for the market is going to be, yeah, if it's a slight negative, um, not a huge problem because the trend is very clear that very soon we're going to be seeing positive numbers. If that report, though, comes in at the very least, again, showing another month of improvement, will it be a game changer yeah. for the Fed? Will the Fed have to put the pedal to the metal, if you will? Uh, I'm not sure. I think the Fed needs to see some more evidence of sustained strength in the economy. The Fed knows that the fourth quarter is going to be a pretty good quarter. It's going to be a huge boost from the, from the inventory cycle. Uh, I think the Fed will want to see you know, a few more months of data. Let's see how much of this growth we sustain as we move into 2010 um, before it decides when to, uh, when to start to, to move. What sectors, what industry will be hiring, industries may be hiring the most? Well, I think that we're going to see um, over the course of the year, pretty broad-based gains across the private services sector, uh, particularly the temporary help area here, because some manufacturers will uh, decide to use temporary help, uh, and those people are classified in the, in the service sector. Uh, services were the area that really were hammered earlier in the year uh, as companies really slashed hiring across the, across the board. Uh, I, I think that's where we're going to see things coming back. And then generally speaking, our 2010 budgets, corporate budget, showing, you know, enough cash, are they able to free up cash to add workers? Well, company cash flow uh, it has been doing extremely well through this cycle, um, partly because they were so cautious earlier on this year uh, in cutting back employment and also, also slashing their capital spending. So I think the funds are there. It's just a question of whether firms feel confident enough about the future that they actually want to go out and make those outlays to hire more people and to do more capital spending. Nigel Galt of IHS Global Insight, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it.